Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows Experience Index ratings to make them say whatever you want. Anyways, um, for those of you who've used Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you probably know what the Experience Index rating is. It's, um, it's like a thing that basically rates your computer on how well it is and everything, how good it works, and how well the operating system can run on it. So to get to this thing, you might, you just want to open your start menu and click on right click computer and click properties, and you'll see this thing right there. Um, a 5.6. That's your experience index. It's um, basically it's just a number from one to 7.9 rating on each of the these things. The uh, that says how good each aspect of your computer is. Like you get a 7.3, and that, how it gets the the base score is it takes the lowest score you get out of these, which in my case is my performance for with Windows Arrow. When I have like Arrow turned on, that's like the thing that lets you see through the window up there. And um, anyway, to change these, well, what happens is you just hit like run the assessment if you it's not already done, and what you might what you want to do is just X out of the window or minimize it, whatever. As make just make sure you have any index rating there. So just um go to computer, go to local disk, um Windows, go to performance, WinStat, data store. Okay, now here's what you need to look for. You gotta look. You might have many of these, depending on um, how many experience indexes you've had. So find the one that, the one, the, your most recent one you did, which is here. And like out of all of those, like the little seven ones right there. Um, now you want to click on this one here that says Formal Assessment. Um. As you know, it's a system file, which means you can't really modify it. So you have to change the properties of it. Like right click it and hit properties. Go to security and hit edit, and you're going to get the boon. <laughs> click on your username and just hit click allow under full control. Click apply. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now what you just want to do is right click it and hit open. Open with WordPad because WordPad works better with this than Notepad does. And you can start changing it. Um, let's see. Um, this right here is your system score total overall, I believe. Um, let me see here. So 5.6 is my overall. That'd be 5.6 there. Let's say you wanted to make it, let's say 7.1. And just click the little save right there. And go back to this. Hit refresh. And now it's 7.1. <laughs> So that's the lowest one. Now you have to make one of these 7.1 and then everyone else, every other one higher. So we made that 7.1. Now for the CPU, let's say we want, I don't know, 7.9, 7.6, graphics gorgeous heck make it 7.9 and if you hit save then go back here and then just refresh it's um I got actually have to change that 5.9 to something uh, gotta find the 5.9 because right here it is let's make that 7.1 save 
for because that's the one I chose to be the lowest just for now. Let's just minimize it. Go to this. And here's a feature I actually love about Windows 7. It's called Shake. You just take your window and just shake it, and it makes any other window around it disappear. So you can make this your focusing point. Just hit F5, or just click refresh, and uh, there you go. And if at any point you want to fix that, just um, I, if you want to change this, the changes we just made, you can just um, go here and just hit rerun the assessment, and it'll put it back to normal. And anyways, actually, another thing you could do is if you don't even care about running this assessment thing it be you could actually just probably just highlight all these and just delete them all cuz you you really don't need them if you don't honestly care about that it just takes up um space but if you really don't know what you're doing just don't mess with it anyway that concludes this video tutorial on how to change your system index rating thanks for watching subscribe rate comment and share